Some days you're up and other days you're down. Always tip the dealers and when your waitress comes around Cause sometimes you punt and other times you're round And you might get cooler to flop the nuts when you sit down The outcome of the hand don't mean that you made it Cause life's not about the result but more on how you played it Hitting eights, nines, and tens and all the painted faces Every day you play is a win even if you're mucking aces Thanks so much for tuning in to part two of the Monkey Naces Poker Vlog episode 18. I'm KP and we're going to pick up where we left off. Thanks so much for tuning in. We pick up pocket tens on the button and there are a couple of limpers. When it gets back to me, I go ahead and bump it up just to try and punish those limpers. There are two players who make the call. So we go three ways to a flop and the flop comes out pretty good for us it comes out queen 10 4 and there are two diamonds with middle set here we're definitely going to fast play this one this time and continue with a bet once it checks to us so i decide on a sizing of 25 dollars roughly a half pot size bet here and we see if we can get anyone to come along we end up getting one caller, and that caller is going to be in the big blind. So we end up going to a turn, which comes out the jack of spades. There are three to a straight there, and I don't know if this is going to be any sort of action killer at this time, but I'm going to continue. So I throw out another bet, and see if we can get this player to join us for this $45 continuation bet. So with that second barrel, he does make the call and the eight of diamonds ends up coming out. So when he checks, unfortunately, I think that he may have got there with the flush. So I just end up checking back and I turn over my hand, but we're good. So definitely happy to take this one down and unfortunately maybe lost some value there at the end being afraid of the flush but we move on to the next one continuing with the ace eight hands from part one of episode 18 we pick up ace eight of spades in this one and we're on the button again a little while later and once it gets to us on the button we're definitely going to bump this one up so we make it 15 more I end up getting two callers here, a caller in the small blind after me makes the call and a player in middle position also ends up making the call. So once again, we go three ways to the flop and the flop comes out pretty decent for us. Maybe not for our exact hand, but there are two spades on the board when it comes out king nine six with two spades. So here I'm going to make a continuation bet once it does check to me again and I'm going to throw out a bet there and we get both players to fold their hands so we're going to take down the small pot but definitely happy to scoop this one and in the very next hand we pick up ace eight once again what do you know we're in the big blind this time and picking up the ace eight we get a couple of limpers and of course we are going to switch it up and check our option here this time. So we go six ways to a flop in this almost family style pot to a flop that is great for us. Ace, four, eight, and it is a rainbow board. We have top two pair, so we're definitely loving this one. Once it gets checked to me, I'm going to throw out a bet and we have... The next player to act, who is in middle position, is going to actually raise. So once they throw out the raise, he has only a little bit behind. Everyone else folds. So with only roughly a little over a pot size bet left, he is going to be put in a tough spot if I jam all in. So that's exactly what I do. Um, he actually snap calls. I flip my hand over and we go to a run out. He shows down ace four. So with the jack coming on the turn and the ace coming on the river, we boat up and we actually boat over boat him. 
So we're happy to take this one down. Wishing they had a little bit more behind, but definitely happy to get some run good and scoop this. A couple orbits later, we pick up King Queen suited of the heart variety on the button. And we go ahead and bump it up once we have a couple of callers. So definitely going to make it 15 here and uh, per usual see if we can just scoop and take down an easy pot or hopefully build one. So I bump it up to 10 once there's only a couple of colors behind and we go three ways to a flop which comes out okay for us here um, with a 10, a 6, and a 5 with two hearts. So definitely happy that we have at least a flush draw going for us even though it does not hit our exact hand. After it gets checked to me, I'm going to go ahead and continue with the betting and I just make it a small sizing to see if anyone's got a piece of this board. So I make it 15 and the player who is under the gun actually decides to check raise me. So he makes a min check raise, which definitely throws out some alarm bells for me, but I'm going to continue with it nonetheless and I end up making the call. So after he min raises me with about $145 in the pot, we're gonna go heads up after the player in the hijack folds and we see a turn card which comes out the seven of hearts. So we hit our flush and we are glad to see it. So with our flush being the king high flush, of course, uh, ace high flush can beat us but we're not going to be too afraid of that with uh, both the king and the queen out there. So I'm going to check for a little bit of deception after he checks to me. And the river card comes out the ace of clubs. He actually jams and I snap call. So with about 430 in, we turn over our flush and he ends up just mucking his hand. So... The run good continues, and when he checked to me on that turn, I kind of looked up at him. He shot me a look, and I thought that he really didn't put me on the flush after I did check that flush. So I don't know what he was thinking there, but yeah, definitely a nice one to scoop. In this next one, we're in the cutoff, and we're playing a full ring at this time, but we're about just under $400 effective in this hand. The villain in this hand is in middle position and we just decide to make the call once he bumps it up to $20 preflop with our ace jack offsuit. So we're going to just see a flop and the flop comes out eh, okay for us king nine deuce with two spades. So he decides to lead out with a bet and I decide to continue with this one. Um, just to see what transpires as the villain only makes it $25. So me and him go heads up to a turn which comes the five of spades and I'm feeling pretty good about my hand right now as long as he does not completely bomb the turn. And that's not what happens. He actually checks to me. So I go ahead and lead out for $45 and he then turns around and raises to... $100. So with a min check raise, I'm for sure just going to make the call here in this instance with the nut flush draw and see what transpires with a fold if he completely bombs the river on a brick card. So we go to the river itself that comes out the miraculous 10 of spades so we hit our nut flush on the board of king nine deuce five ten with four spades and he immediately jams and i snap call so i turn over my flush and the villain in this hand mucks his hand in disgust so we're gonna scoop a big one here which is just under $800 in the pot and happy to take this one down of course um, I usually wouldn't play this hand out if he wouldn't have bet so small on those earlier streets with those check raises the next notable hand we are in the big blind and we pick up 
10 jack suited with uh, the 10 and the jack being of the heart variety. I'm going to go with it here in the big blind and see if I can just check my option. But it doesn't get to that. A player in middle position who is short stack jams all in for about his last $70 or so. And I'm going to just see what happens uh, and make the call, ride the variance a little bit here and uh, see if we can spike something on the flop. So we go to a run out after everyone else folds. And guess what? We spike it on the flop, which comes out a seven, nine, all hearts. I immediately flip over my hand and everyone is wowed and it looks like the villain is drawing dead as the run out comes the queen of diamonds and the six of clubs on the river so happy to scoop this one without much of a sweat there uh, but maybe if it was a little bigger i wouldn't have called in this very last hand of course we get ace eight off suit and we're going to play this one as we're on the, the button. button. We go four ways to the flop on this one as the villain to my right makes it 15. And we just make the call. A couple others make the call. And we go four ways to 7, 5, 10 with two spades. So at this point, I'm kind of ready to just give up. But uh, everyone decides to check around on the flop. So we actually end up going to a turn and that turn card comes out the three of spades. The player to my right ends up throwing out a bet of only $6. So I'm going to make the call and the other two end up folding. And then we go to that river card, which is the four of diamonds. The villain in this hand actually ends up checking. So I throw out a bet of 15, hoping to take this one down. Um, but he actually just snap calls. So we go to flip our hand over, and this is what happens. You got me. No, oh, you win. What? I actually hike. Really? Yeah. I rack up shortly thereafter and happy to book a big win in this one. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. All right, y'all, that's it for episode 18 of the Mucky Naces Poker Vlog. Just want to say thanks to everyone who has dropped a like on the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate everyone who has been uh, dropping a like on the video and also a comment. Really thank you guys for just sticking with me. Got a lot going on here, so definitely looking forward to pumping out more content and keeping them going. I uh, appreciate everyone's patience. And today we hopped into the game at Matrix for $300 in the one, two, three game for the max amount there and got out for roughly 1500. I'll have the numbers in the screen here as usual and uh, looking forward to seeing y'all in the future. Thanks so much, peace.